guys, how are we all doing? Welcome to today's video and welcome to my Kaduna vlog. Oh, 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 oh. Why do I have a pimple coming up right when I'm going for a wedding? Like, who did I offend for this to be coming up right now? If you did not know, I am going to Kaduna. Oh, by the time you guys watch this video, I would have been back from Kaduna. So I went to Kaduna for my friend's wedding. Her name is Michi and we went to school together and we did our final project together and yeah, it's her wedding. She's getting married to her sweetheart Damola. They met in school and I'm so happy for her. So they're getting married in Kaduna. I was invited. I bought Ashwed B. I've sold it and I'm leaving tomorrow, which is Wednesday. So I'm going by road. Not a lot of people are happy about that, but I want to try and, and do something new discover a whole new world so i should be getting there wednesday night tomorrow night which is um i should be getting there tomorrow night then i have thursday because the wedding is on friday so i have thursday to mill about i am planning on going to the knock village and to the waterfalls the weddings on friday and then i am back on a bus to lagos because i have to edit this video to go up on tuesday and then i have to film the makeup look that is going up on thursday so Jola is a busy, busy, busy person. So after doing the packing that I'm doing right now, I am planning on going to Studio Stylish in VI to get my hair done because this is not what, mm -mm, this is not what I want. So I want to go get my hair done. Maybe I'll just get like some twists or I don't know if they could just use attachment and do like some body braids, like cornrows with attachment for me. So yeah, that is the update for now. Let me finish packing so I can head out to go do my hair. So I'm home and look at my hair. It is long. See? It is long. This is going to be my protective style for like a month or so. I'm not sure until all these places start getting rough and things like that. I also got a mani and a pedi done. So I'm basically ready for tra to travel. Um, I just I came back from the supermarket and I went to buy snacks. So I got some cookies and I got some gummy bears. Lagos to Kaduna is, is a journey. It's far. Um, it's not like a four hour journey that I'm used to when I was back in America. So I'm going to try my best to occupy myself as much as possible. I've downloaded a couple of ebooks um, that should get me through. I have like some podcasts. On, like I think a couple of those podcasts, like one podcast is three hours, one is two hours. So I'm just going to listen, read, and capture as much of Nigeria I can capture. So I'm going to finish packing and yeah, maybe take a nap because oh, I'm tired. I've had a very, very long day. Good morning guys, it is almost 5 a.m. I've been awake since 4. I have finished packing, that last minute pack you do. Um, everything is ready, I'm clothed, I'm dressed. I just have to go downstairs and get my brother's denim jacket because I want a jacket in case the bus gets cold. So I am on my way to the bus station soon, waiting for my mom because I'm kind of ready. Like, I'm dressed. <laughs> This is the restaurant slash stop we're at in Ore. We got food there. People are sitting. There's like a little loungish area back there. This is my hotel room. I'm gonna be sharing with somebody else. This is the bathroom, the wardrobe, the bed, 
nothing special. A little mini fridge, which is empty of course. There's TV and there's an AC. And this overlooks nothing much. And there's a mirror here, so I can see how I look. So that's basically it for the hotel room. I am going to have a shower, order some food, and sleep because it is literally past midnight. It is almost past midnight, and I am tired AF, so see you guys on the flip side. Morning, guys. It is Thursday morning. I have spent one night in Kaduna. The bed is a bit hard, but I don't really care because I did sleep on on a bus. I was on a bus for quite some time, so this, so this bed is comfier than that bus. Woo! Anyway, the lighting in this room is actually really good, like, bright. It's very, very bright. Okay, so today's plans. So I was supposed to go to the waterfall today. I was supposed to go. But they didn't tell me that today was the traditional. And I didn't pack anything for the traditional. So right now, I asked my friend Farida, you guys will meet her soon, we're actually sharing the room. She, I told her, I sent her a message like, yo, babe, you gotta bring something for me to wear. And she said she'll try and bring something. And if that doesn't work, I am going to go to where the bride is staying, Michi, and I'm going to borrow one of her trads. I'm not sure if I should order breakfast, because I'm trying to save some money here. So the menu is quite okay. The menu isn't that expensive. Um, there's indomie and egg for breakfast if you want. Sliced bread, toasted bread, scrambled egg, uh, coffee, and baked beans. I mean, I could get some bread, egg, baked beans, and coffee. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I know I gave you guys a proper tour of the room yesterday, but this is what it looks like in the daytime after somebody has slept in it and arranged your stuff. That's all my makeup and skincare products. My jewelry, my wallet, my bag, my main camera. I brought my mirror from home because I can't do my makeup without my mirror. Like, I can't do any, like, I can't do event makeup without my mirror. Like, I can't. Um, and my camera's there. This is the bed, which is... Can you hear this? It's hard. Holy, <laughs> holy gun. It's very hard. Uh, my laptop, uh, my iPhone, what a water I got yesterday. And this is my view outside i was trying to show you guys last night but it was terrible this is my view um i think i'm looking over the backyard there's nothing really special out there so the bathroom is small like when you open the door it opens like it, it doesn't open fully because there's a tub i've arranged my you know skincare products huge tub toilet stuff like that now i am waiting for farida to get here so that I could figure out what I'm gonna wear for this traditional because as I said before I didn't pack So they just brought my breakfast. I'm trying not to have my food near the makeup So I'm gonna transfer it to that side But here are the baked beans. I ordered for baked beans, toasted bread, and an omelette, an onion omelette since they didn't have anything else like a proper omelette They said there would be tomatoes in this omelette. There's no tomatoes. Oh well. There's AC, there's a TV um, the bed is a bit hard, but I don't mind. Um, yeah. Everything is fine. The hotel is fine. I'm yes, there's a water heater, so I'm going to have a nice shower with hot water. Say hi to my vlog. <laughs> Why are you so weird? Please close the door. Mm. Anyway, we have to start getting ready. I gotta do my makeup. I forgot to bring my spoolie, which means I'm going to have unblended brows. Like, I'm so annoyed. I'm trying to adjust this thing so it can sit well. My natural beauty is great and all, but... Your natural beauty is perfect. Don't, I don't, know that. don't let anyone fool you and tell you that your natural beauty is not enough. I don't know that. <laughs> my tripod is okay. I'll do my makeup and stuff. I'll just watch what you're doing. Okay, who is this boy? Why is this boy like that? Ah, so your boyfriend? No, one snake. What is snakes? Do you know how many snakes have crawled into my life this past week? Last month. Well, you are living in Abuja. Like, I imagine that the snakes are plenty there. No, like snakes from my past. 
Oh. You know, like hair stranger kind oh. of thing. Do you ever notice is that when your life is the happiest, that's when they jump in? Oh, like when I'm now starting to recover and you know when Tunde came up myself. <laughs> when Tunde came into my life, I swear all my exes found me. It's as if you know, they were hiding in one cupboard. And then they had an alert. You they don't go bow. I cannot lie to you, like the way I received phone calls and texts Long and time. hey babe, how far? You've not even asked them. I'm just like, ah, did he yeah, did he send a message to all of you? Yeah, Is there a group chat? I think I'm just even happy right now that like I'm not rocking by any of them anymore. So I'm just looking at them with this amusement. Now nah, fam. Congratulations. Like you these boys are scummy scum scum. My tripod is imbalancing well for some odd reason. Like I do not know why. Where's the water that you said you had? I guess I have to move. It's there. It's uh so we're ready to go. No no no, it's on next to the table. We're ready to go. This is what I'm wearing. Farida came through for me. That's what I'm wearing. I did my makeup. I even put on lashes. It's like it's to see a code, don't she? <laughs> Alright, let's be went We're already kind of late. We're supposed to be there for eleven. It's past almost one. Yeah, no. Did you take the key? Yeah, the keys are right. On our way to traditional, traditional, traditional. How do you feel? I feel so excited. I cannot wait to marry my best friend, the love of my life, my damn damn. You sound like you're faking it. I am. <laughs> how did you? So when you, how did you guys meet? We don't know that story. Was it during orientation? No, no we, I know the story. I mean, oh, didn't mean because of Ronke. Ronke and Damola knew. <laughs> Ronke and Damola knew each other. Yeah, different story. Ronke and Dam. No, but not you don't know how they met. It was so me that so, so I met Damola first when he was with Teresa and Ronke. Uh huh. They were lying to me that Teresa okay. and Damola are sisters and brothers. Oh. Wait before we saw. So you people are just telling us now. So how did it happen? Tell us. Or do you remember? We had a chat because his parents came. Well, you guys were sitting down. You said, Will you marry me? No. His parents came also. And then, like, we did all the official, official things. And then, they went to see my parents. Well, you people didn't do, like, he didn't take you to a, a fancy restaurant. Yeah. We went to my parents, and then, like, a month after that, I went out to my ex boss's um, baby shower and I came back home. And I got the ring and the whole proposal thing like that, like flowers. Oh. Yeah, so I got two proposals. Oh. Eh, look at this. This is the hashtag DM Love Story. And it's filled with lovely gifts and goodies. Thank you, Michi. Thank you. So I came back to Michi's hotel room because my period is about to start and I'm cramping badly like I couldn't dance anymore I couldn't move like I was cramping badly so Yvonne was coming here to get her stuff and go so I just asked her, the driver to like drop me off so that I don't die. So I ordered some food um, and I'm going to take, I always carry Tylenol with me in cases like this. So I ordered food, I'm getting some Tylenol, I have some Tylenol that I'll take. Whew, you guys have no idea how, like I'm in, I'm in pain right now. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is Friday morning, aka the main day of the wedding. Um, last night was a trip. The hotel that Michi is staying at, the pool was empty, so we all went there. I think you guys saw that last clip. And we got lit. We got lit. Where is she? We got lit. Very, 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 very lit. Now it is time to get ready. No, first I have to wash my face, shower, 
um, prepare myself and then start doing my makeup. I've already started to set up right here. And there. I am facing the biggest source of light, which is this uh, damn ass window. Man, I didn't even tell you guys what happened yesterday. Look, let me do my let me let me clean myself up. Let me figure my life, let me figure my morning out. Then I'm gonna just you about what happened to me yesterday morning. So I don't need to do my makeup anymore because they've moved the picture session to 12:30 p.m. So we is Gucci. I don't need to do my makeup after I've set up every single thing. But you know what, let me just tell you guys about what happened yesterday. While Jella Adibi was lying down in bed waiting for Farida to get here. Because Farida's bus didn't leave early. Okay. So anyway, while I was on the bed, I was chilling. I was thinking of my next line of action. I heard, I heard construction noises outside. And I was fine with it. I was like, oh, okay, they're doing construction work. I mean, that's great. All of a sudden, I heard a great crash, like a... Just imagine glass breaking. I don't understand. Like, I don't know how to make that sound. But it was a huge crash. And glass was all over the floor on the, like, near where the fridge is. Okay, let me show you guys the window. So this is the window. The glass up there, that the top one on that side, it broke. Like, the construction workers broke the glass. I looked at myself like, okay, I hope no glass touched me. And none touched me at all. So I was like, whew. I, I started to scream. I started to complain and the construction worker outside literally did not give two fucks about me like he was on his own talking like ah he was talking to you but he was like oh my god now they'll say it's me that did this thing blah 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 and i was shouting at them like can you see that someone is here blah 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 blah, blah. they didn't answer they didn't answer he didn't answer me i now went to the phone and i tried calling the the general manager nobody picked up i tried calling the reception nobody picked up and by the time like I went through the motions of screaming, going to the phone, trying to call someone. By the time I went through all those motions, I was just like, fuck this shit, I can't deal with this. Like, I, like no one is going to answer me, that's what I thought. So, <laughs> you are so weird, go away. Anyway, Sha, so the curtain, I didn't mention, the curtain actually fell down. They changed, they didn't change the room, but when I, by the time I came back, um, at night, I noticed that the window was fixed. They fixed that window pane. But I didn't notice this thing jutting out. Can you guys see that? So they left a window open. Farida! Go away. So they left a window open and it rained last night. It, we must have slept so deeply that we didn't know it rained. Like we were so tired like yesterday was so turned like chilling at mitty's hotel with the other girls was just it was just every like do you get we did choreography we keep cho we're doing choreography today i can't wait i really cannot wait we're doing choreography today there's like a lot happening i'm freshly washed and cleaned guess we're just gonna chill bright vibes <laughs> Ali in the house. So we're going outside to go take photos. We're wearing bride gang with the hashtag. This is your beautiful See how we just it's popping. Pop right? pop. It's too big. Okay, we're champion. What did we use for open? Champion. So we're trying to no, this is the new one, this is the new one. So we're plenty of us. See all of us. All of us, plenty of us like that. Give a step down. Because she's going to be coming out and more other attention will be on her. So we're going to divide it. But in two lines, like, in the first episode, it's something that I'm always She's giving us. This one's giving us bombs. Hello, Rati. <laughs> Okay, I'm watching you. That's your baby. Yeah, okay. Madam, how did you say you see why you're going to go to the house? I'm busy 10. Yeah, 10 years. What is it? It was baby before, but it's not a decade. Mom is baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Thank you. But I enjoyed it, funny enough. So that was, that is my Kaduna vlog. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Please subscribe to the Omagima YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.